Refraction by lens. Refraction at the surface x p1 y is mu2 by v1 minus mu1 by u equals to mu2 minus mu1 by r1. Equation 1. Refraction at the surface x p2 y is mu1 by v minus mu2 by v1 equals to mu1 minus mu2 by r2 or mu1 by v minus mu2 by v1 equals to mu1 minus mu2 by minus r2 from 1 and 2 mu1 by minus u plus mu1 by v equals to mu2 minus mu1 into 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2 mu1 of 1 by v minus 1 by u equals to mu2 minus mu1 into 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2 1 by v minus 1 by u equals to mu2 by mu1 minus 1 into 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2 we know that mu2 by mu1 equals to mu equals to refraction index of lens material write the surrounding medium 1 by v minus 1 by u equals to mu minus 1 into 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2 equation 3 when the object is infinity the image is formed at the principal town at the lens u when u equals to infinity and v equals to f therefore 1 by f minus 1 by infinity equals to mu minus 1 into 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2 1 by f equals to mu minus 1 into 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2 equation 4 this equation is the lens formula connecting the object distance u image distance v and focal length f of the lens the power p of a lens is defined as the tangent of the angle by which it converges or diverges. A beam of light falling at unit distance from the optical center. Tan delta equals to h by f. If h equals to 1, tan delta equals to 1 by f. Or delta equals to 1 by f for small value of delta therefore p equals to 1 by f hence the power of a lens is expressed as a reciprocal of its focal length the unit of power of a lens is diopter d the reciprocal of the focal length of a lens expressed in meters is called the power of lens power of the lens p equals to 1 by f meters diopter the power of a convex lens is positive and that of concave lens is negative for example if the focal length of convex lens is 50 centimeter then the power of the lens is p equals to 1 by 0 5 equals to 2d the concave lens of focal length 20 centimeter has a power of minus 5d important points when two thin lenses of focal lengths f1 and f2 are placed in contact with each other the focal length f of the combination is given by 1 by f equals to 1 by f1 plus 1 by f2 for convex lens focal length is positive for concave lens focal length is negative 2 if P is the power of the combinations and P1 and P2 are the power of the individual lenses, then P1 equals to 1 by F1, P2 equals to 1 by F2, P equals to 1 by F, P equals to P1 plus P2. Thus, total power of a number of lenses in contact in equal to the algebraic sum of the powers of the individual lenses. 3. When 
A number of lenses are placed in contact. Each lens magnifies the image formed by the preceding lens. Therefore, the total magnification M produced by the combination is equal to the production of the magnification produced by individual lenses. M equals to M1 into M2 into M3, so on. 4. If two lenses of focal lengths F1 and F2 are separated by a finite distance D, then it can be proved that the focal length F of the equivalent lens is given by 1 by F equals to 1 by F1 plus 1 by F2 minus D by F1 F2.